Oh, I'm struggling, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling quite a lot. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I know that I say this at the beginning of every video, but today I am so excited because we are going to be getting into the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. As soon as I heard about this collaboration, I was not only so excited to try it, but just so incredibly excited and happy for Christie. It's not like I know her or anything, but geez, she just seems like the most caring, kind, humble, honest, just good person. I just think it really comes through in her videos like how much thought and care and energy she puts into things. So I know this collaboration was gonna be absolutely fantastic when I heard about it. I feel like so many great things are coming her way this year and it's just so well deserved. 2020 has been an incredibly rough year for a lot of us, me included. It's probably been one of, if not the, roughest worst years I've had in, in quite some time. Uh, of course not all of it, some really wonderful things have happened for me this year too, but honestly just watching Christy's videos and seeing like her pregnancy videos and stuff have been a bright spot and a very dark time, so I'm just, I'm just really excited to get into this. So what happened was I actually ordered the entire collection today at one o'clock. I had a reminder set. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this collection. I'm gonna order it right at one o'clock because I really, really wanted it. And I did, I was able to get the entire collection and then my mom called me and she said, you got a box from ColourPop here. And I said, open it, please immediately, pretty please send me a picture of what's inside. And she sent me the picture and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm so excited to get the collection it sent to me through PR. Thank you so very much for that. I'm so incredibly grateful. So my mom was kind enough to bring it over from her house to my house so I could film this video for you guys today. But that also means that I have an entire collection like headed eventually my way to me. So I figure the best thing to do with that is to do a giveaway for you guys. I currently think most of the collection is sold out on ColourPop's website. I did however see Christy tweet and say that she hopes or at least believes that there might be some type of restock in the future. But one of you guys will be able to win the whole collection in today's video as well. So if you want to stay tuned till the end, I'll tell you guys how to do that. Hint, it's pretty regular rules. Like, you know, you gotta be subscribed, all that jazz. But we'll talk about that later at the end. All right, so I definitely am going to be doing a look today with everything, but first before we do that, let's go ahead and hop into the actual items themselves. So the box that I got, which is beautiful, by the way, I just love like the detailing of the mushrooms and like the kind of, oh, it's that kind of art called watercolor of the trees in the background. I think it's so pretty. So this is the kind of theme we're going for and the little card in here says, hi friends, it's been a dream of mine to collaborate with ColourPop, aka Color Mom, for years now. To finally have it be a reality is a surreal dream come true. I hope you all love this collection that is so near and dear to my heart, inspired by the beautiful state that I call home. I'm fairly certain she lives in Washington. Thank you endlessly for your support and love. I would not be here without you. Love, Christy. So that is a very cute little card and let's go ahead and move on into the products. First up, this collection it comes with four super shocked shadows i really like the packaging of these i love that green color and the little mushroom on the front the first of the four shades is micellum which is this kind of like beautiful champagne -y, kind of very very pale peachy pink the second is campfire which i personally love it's like kind of a deep almost like terracotta y orange but there's some copper in it too which is super pretty then we have olympic which looks very similar to micellum but i think it's just a little bit lighter maybe a bit more more icy. And then finally we have like a moss, which is like this cool duochrome with some like copper and green in it. I think these are super pretty. Next, the collection comes with three different eyeliners. The first is Woodsy, which is this like beautiful kind of like warm brown. Then we have Spare Time, which is a super cute play on words. And it's this beautiful kind of like rich jewel tone green. Then finally we have Marigold, which is a stunning like bright mustard. And I think it's just so pretty. Moving on, the collection also has two glosses. I personally love ColourPop gloss. Glosses. The first is Wildflower. It's just like the palest, palest pink. I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this. And then the second is Glacier, which is kind of like a champagne -y color base with some sparkles in it. And then finally, just the star of the entire collection is the palette. The colors in here just look so pigmented and rich and beautiful. I think this is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging of it. I love like the shininess of the mushrooms and the matteness of the rest of the palette. The shades inside, I can automatically like in my head to see just so many different eye looks with them. The mattes look beautiful. The shimmers look stunning. All right, you guys, so that's everything that is offered in the collection. And I am just like pumped to try it on my face. Am I gonna make a good eyeshadow look? I don't know, but I'm just so excited to try. It's, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day to be mowing. But could you just not? Could you please just stop? 
It's so loud. Can you, can, can you block off your windows with like foam? Just like big thick pieces of foam. Is that a fire hazard? Probably is. All right, so you loud ring aside. <laughs> Um, I'm starting today with a bare face because I wanted to really kind of play around with colors the eyeshadows And I didn't want it to like fall down onto my cheeks and stuff So I'll do like the eyes and everything and then I'll go ahead and like finish my makeup and then come back at the end All right to get you guys zoomed in just a little bit I am however gonna put a tiny bit of either foundation or concealer or the first thing I can find laying near me onto my face really fast uh, Just to give the eyeshadows like a nice face. I just went and grabbed my whole makeup basket real fast and also a snack it's a massive Slim Jim, savage size. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to wait till the, the lawn maintenance is over. It's just way too loud. So uh, I'm gonna wait till he's done weed mowing, bush whacking, leaf blowing, whatever it is he's doing out there. Um, and then I'll be back. Okay, I think we would have like a few moments of reprieve. So as I was waiting for the mowing to stop, I was sitting there eating my savage size Slim Jim thinking about what kind of eye look I wanted to do. And I just, I like, in my head, I can see so many beautiful eye looks with this palette. Like these are gorgeous colors, but I'm like, what can I actually achieve? So I'm a little bit nervous. Um, what else is there to blow? Okay, I really want to use the greens. I think all of these colors here are gorgeous, but like I've done several looks recently that are kind of like in these like more pinky reddish shades. So I would love to do some like blues and greens. I really also want to use this yellow one here, which is Chantrelle. I think the first one I'm going to dip into is Fiddlehead down here, which is just like a really beautiful looking olive green. And I'm just going to start putting stuff on my face. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I really need to plug my eyebrows. Should I do that first? You guys know me and you know how bad I am at like remembering to do stuff and doing things on time and things like that. Uh, so typically like when I get something sent to my house or like a box arrives, I'm like, oh cool, a thing. Like this seems like a really cool thing. And then I go and set it in my filming room and then like three months later, I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. Not with this collection. Like as soon as my grubby little fingers got onto it, I started filming a video and I'm really honestly hoping to have it edited and up today just because like I'm so excited about it. Ha, you try to get something done promptly for once in your life, but you had thousands of technology issues and you couldn't get it done till today, but at least fair effort. I definitely am glad I'm doing my eyes first because I am having a little bit of fallout. This is just like a really pretty green shade. Man, I really should pluck my eyebrows. They're looking kind of rough. Fine. I guess I'll make myself look presentable. I'll be right back. I'm only gonna get the big ones. Oh, by the way, I still have no idea where this eye look is going. Like not a singular inclination in my little head. Um, <laughs> it's actually quite a large head. Very um, sizable. Where I intend to end up with this eye look, but uh, we'll just play around with colors until we find something we like. Okay, spoiler alert. This look doesn't end up very well, so I don't wanna waste your all's time with it. So I'm just gonna kinda speed through this one and then we're gonna get to a look that I actually ended up liking. Part of me wants to take Puffball, which I just absolutely love that name and put it here because I think that would be a really pretty like fall look like very wearable. I do really like that about this palette like you could go really bright and colorful and bold if you wanted to but I think you could also go super wearable with it. I'm wondering if I take Chantrelle here in the center. Okay hmm. it's not going exactly as I wanted it to. I don't think it's the palette's fault at all. The palette's performing perfectly fine. I just happen to choose brown, green, and yellow which uh, all just kind of blend together into one kind of muddyish brown color, especially like right here on top of the lid. I think you could work those colors together um, if you know how to better, <laughs> but unfortunately I do not. So I'm not loving how this eye looks right now. I might even go ahead and just wipe her all off and start over with some different colors. Maybe it will be a little less muddy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I feel like that is entirely my fault, like picking colors that just blend together to look like mud. Okay, so a new plan here. <laughs> okay, I got that off as much as I could. I'm gonna go back in with some foundation to lay down another base. Maybe a little bit more this time. Maybe that was too much though. Yeah. Okay, now I think I'm gonna switch gears quite a bit. I kind of want to go for this like blue over here. It's PNW. Um, I don't know. I think it's really pretty and I'd like to give it a try. It's like a very deep navy. Hopefully I like this combination a little bit better, but if not, you know, we'll just wipe it off and try again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go real, real heavy with it on the outer and inner corner. That's a beautiful color. That's a lot of fallout. I should have topped off my brush a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Oh, I'm struggling, you guys. Yeah, I'm, str I'm struggling quite a lot. I'll leave that center portion open. I'm gonna take Emerald City here, which is like a deep 
emeraldy green and this I'm gonna put like right here on either side of this blue I'm blending some of that emerald city like above the little blue half circle I got going on here all right right there in that empty spot I'm gonna take a touch more of foundation and then while that's still a little tacky I'm gonna take that west coast gold just on my finger and dot it right on top of the foundation and then just kind of blend it out on the sides holy guacamole that's very gold <laughs> oh I said I wanted to play with color and do something kind of intense so here we are <laughs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye really fast and then I'll come back clean up the rest of my face and then I'll do the oh, I don't know what I'm doing not the top of your eye by the bottom of your eye lower lash line okay so the base of my face is done and things starting to come together just a little bit more now i'm going to focus on like the under eye area or the lower lash line for some reason i can't remember what that's called and i really want to use one of these liners but i definitely don't think you're going to be able to see it on this so i think i'm going to use this underneath my lash line and kind of like smudge it out so i'm going to be using spare time which i think is a super cute name don't quite know why i said it like that i don't want to go too heavy with it since the top's already like super duper heavy i want to balance it just a little bit but I don't want to like pull the eye down too much. Okay, now I'm thinking about putting just a tiny little bit of marigold just right here. I broke it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's sad. Yeah, my marigold broke just a little bit, but that's okay. I might just put like a little right here. Just not too much, just a little. Okay, as far as the eyeshadow, I believe the eyes are done, but I figure with such a bold dramatic look, I might as well put on a bold dramatic lash. So <laughs> let's add another 45 minutes to this eye look really fast and slap on a lash. Where's that goofy stuff that holds your eyelashes on? Okay, so the lashes are on. My battery died right in the middle of me doing it, but that saved you guys like 30 to 40 minutes of just struggling. I'll put them on and I thought they might look a little bit like too big, but they're actually like nice and wispy and I think they're kind of pretty. Am I liking lashes now? I don't know what's happening to me. If I just had like a machine that I could like lay there and they would like apply the lashes for me, uh, I, things would be great. I'd probably wear lashes all the time, but uh, I do not. I did realize that I didn't use any of these super shock shadows. So I think I'm gonna grab Olympic here, which is just like really pretty, just shiny kind of pale color. And I think I wanna use it as a little bit of highlight just like an extra little sparkle on the cheeks. And then I might just do just a tiny little bit just to bring some light into the inner corner. The very last thing is lips, so I'm just gonna use some of the gloss. I really like that pale pink. There's like barely any color to it, but I do really like how these glosses feel on the lips. I think I might also try Glacier too, just like a little bit of sparkle on the lip. All right guys, yeah, so I guess this is the finished look. I actually really like how it turned out. I think it's really like, bold but also like kind of elegant i mean i don't know if like giant blue eyeshadow is necessarily elegant the palette overall i thought was really nice i did try several of the colors from it the pigments are really fantastic they blended out really nicely they're definitely bold as you can see the liners were super nice and creamy and pigmented the glosses feel really great and overall i just think it's a really beautiful collection and i'm just so happy for christy now if you guys would like to try out this beautiful collection for yourself you can enter to win the entire collection which i will be sending to you as soon as i get it in the mail all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to this channel leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below letting me know that you'd like to be entered the only other little rule is that you need to be 18 years of age or older or have parent or guardian permission so i can get your address so i can send this stuff to you that's all i have for you guys today thank you so very much for watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind it would mean the absolute world to me we're super close to 400,000, and i would love to hit it by the end of the year again christy i am just so happy for you so excited for you i hope you enjoy your new home and your precious new baby and just everything that life brings you i just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see See y'all next time. Bye!